week of October 7th. Weekly calendar. On Monday, 6th grade flag football game at Windsor at 4.15 p.m. 7th grade flag football game at Windsor at 5.15 p.m. 7th grade girls basketball game home against Comstock at 4.15 p.m. 8th grade girls basketball home against Comstock at 5.15 p.m. Cover. <laughs> On Tuesday, 6th grade girls volleyball blue team at Forestville at 4.15 p.m. 6th grade girls volleyball gold team home versus Willowside Red at 4.15 p.m. On Friday, parent-teacher conferences, no school. But there is a cross-country meet at Riverfront Park in Windsor at 4.30. This is the 7th and 8th grade math teacher, Miss Wittenberg. We're going to interview her on some of our questions. I have heard so many good things about Hillcrest, and I want to be part of a really awesome community of parents, students, community members. They're all having a really fun time and learning a lot. How long have you been teaching? This is my ninth year. Why do you have a toast of cardboard cut out in your room? Uh, it's just something fun. I thought you guys would like it. Um, I really like Taylor Swift. But why not, right? That's kind of the question I like to ask myself. Why not? How do you like the school so far? I like it a lot. It's really fun. Um, I'm enjoying my juggling elective. Um, students seem to be really nice, and the staff is awesome. Thank you for your time, and I hope this helps some t uh, students and to get to know you a little better. Thanks. Welcome to Tea Review, the show where I review how people take their coffee and how they take their tea. The tea of the day was apricot vanilla. What's your tea of the day? Mm, dandelion. Dandelion. Mm. All right. Oh, delicious. How do you take your coffee? With cream. You're wrong. What? Black coffee is the only good way to take coffee. No. Take coffee. No. But only if it has an ice cube, then it cools down. I mean, that helps sometimes. Well, what if you're like about to go on a car ride, you know? Well, then you don't want to just slosh. Because it's full. Do you so not have, have lids in. on your thingies? Well, are you telling me that you use a plastic cup every single day? That is bad for the environment. What? Yeah, but I use it every single day. The same one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was that improv? Yes. <laughs> Alright, well now that that's done, how do you take your tea? Um, with a little honey. I, it, it don't, Are you guys okay? I'll take it. I mean, I'll take it. A little honey isn't bad. <laughs> Just what kinds of tea do you like? I like chamomile. Chamomile. I'm okay. basic like that. Right. Um, chamomile is really good for when you're sick. <laughs> what is like weird in your it mouth? It smells like vanilla. Today we are going to see the records for a few of the sports teams we have here at Hillcrest. So first we're going to be talking about the football team. So it seems like this is going to be this season is going to be a good year for the football team. They've gone 3 1 and 1. But sadly they lost their first game on October 3rd. Let's hope that they can keep this pace up for the rest of the season. So actually it says here that the girls basketball team has gone undefeated this year. Which is pretty good. So we're actually going to be interviewing one of the players from that team shortly. Stop the recording. Going so good. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, so I got a few questions here for you that we're going to ask you some, alright? Okay. Okay, so, first question here is, which team would, what was the most challenging for you to beat so um, far? Brookhaven. Brookhaven? Why was he so, why, why was they so challenging to beat? Um, they've always been, like, a really good team, but we beat them. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, hello, Courtney. Hi. Uh, I have one last question for you. Uh, okay. Do you think that you guys are going to lose a game this year? One game? Hopefully not. But, like, you, you guys might lose a game. There's a chance. Maybe. Maybe. Well, we played all the tough teams already, so we'll see. Today we have a game against Willis. That, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Uh -huh. What is popping memers? Today, we are going to review the most intriguing internet jokes on this segment, Meme Review. Today's segment will be... Minecraft. 
So let's just jump into it. Hello, memers. Today we are going to be reviewing some more memes. First Te- meme. Teacher, what are you laughing at? Me, nothing. My brain. Dwayne, Dwayne the, the Block, Block Johnson. Johnson. Okay, How this funny. is a pretty accurate depiction of my daily life. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, yeah, I think I would do that. Uh, his nose is looking fine on this day. Yeah. Okay, next me. Me casually rings the bell. The villagers. And they're just sprinting to their class. Mm, 5 out of 10. Would you relate to this in real life? I mean, like, this is what I feel like when the popular kids are heading my way. It's just like... No, not really. Okay. My ego is just too large. Is this you when you're, like, getting out of a class and trying to run over to science so you don't get late? Yes. Okay. So I give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, I think this is a pretty accurate depiction of my life, so... So, yeah, I also give so it, you stop it a 7 out of accurate. 10. Alright, next meme. Alright, who the heck is whispering during silent reading time? It's, uh, it's the mutant zombie, the mutant mod. That was like 1.7 1. 1. 7 or something. Yeah. The mutant zombie with laser eyes because he's serious about the people. Who this are is pretty old. During silent reading time. So I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, alright, just remember to be silent when you're silent when you're reading, otherwise, you'll be annihilated by a 1.7 view. Thank you for watching the Hillcrest News. Have a good week. All right, good afternoon, Hillcrest Middle School. That's right, I'm Principal Dietz. He's none other than George the Greek Soteris. Greek, how we doing today? Uh, it's another beautiful day at Hillcrest Middle School, Dietz. Let me tell you what, and not only that, it's a special edition. We're going international. International? Wait, that's inter- right, what, what, that's what, right. International? What are you talking about there, we're Greek? Go- we're going across the pond. Okay. No, what, the good old, the good old jolly old England right there. The jolly old England. See the Queen. That's to right. The that's queen. right. That looks down right. the Abbey. I went to go see the movie this oh, weekend. Is that right? Not too shabby, right uh, not there. Too bad. I wouldn't waste my money on something like that. But anyways, come on, eat <laughs> something American produced is always going to be better. But hey, I may be a little biased there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, so as you mentioned right now. Your Oakland Raiders have That's traveled. Right. My Oakland Raiders, who I predicted last week would win the game, that would go down there, I'll beat the Colts. You can look at the footage. Even though I, yes, I did. Don't shake your head at me, McDowell. I definitely predicted we would win 31 uh, 24. We might have to go check the tape on no, that no, one. There, you know, you know, just take the Greeks' sure. word. Take the Greeks' word for value, what it is for face value. We definitely won, right? That's what I said. That's my prediction there, Deeds. But right now, so the. So Are the you Ra- questioning the Greek, uh, by Greek, the way? Greek, Greek, dare you, Greek. Deeds. Come on. Greek, now look, of course, as the Raiders are, are going to be having to get used to packing very, very soon. That's right. They packed down. up all their stuff to head over to jolly old England. Yeah. That's yeah. right, a little tea and crumpets right there. Do, do we know somebody over there? Do we happen you know what? to know somebody? We do happen to know someone. So to talk about this week's Oakland Raiders, That's right. Chicago Bears matchup I, over there. But Deesa, you got to help me with the name. I can't remember her name whatsoever. I, I, it was, it was, was a, something. It was, a, it was uh, something. Jerry. Uh, uh, no, Janice, no, Jimmy. No, Janice. Janice no, Jane. Uh, uh, I, I, ah, geez, it's, something it's failing me right now. But it is. Uh, she wasn't that good of a teacher. Anyway. Uh, well, I she mean, let me tell you something. Great. Let me tell you something. <laughs> the kid, the kids could fold paper after her class like no one did. <laughs> so I mean, it, it, class, it, it was it that. was amazing, That's absolutely right. amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, we of course, kid, we just, coming we just, live. We're guys, right? We're gonna be turning this around here, saying going live to us from London, England. We have none other than Hillcrest math teaching, Hillcrest math teaching legend, yeah, shall we yeah, say. Absolutely. Jackie Jex Lewis, that's <laughs> right, everybody. <laughs> All right, well, hel- say, I'm so excited to be on this episode. I am just thrilled to be recording here from the epicenter of football. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the greatest day of your life, Jackie, to be on Hillcrest News with Deeds in the Greek right now. Let me tell you, all right? There's no day it's going to be ever better than this that you're experiencing right now, Jackie. It's, it's phenomenal. Already phenomenal. <laughs> I'm just going to have a little sip of tea here. Oh, there we go. Oh, is, that, is that PG tips you have in the cup right there? Of course, of course. Absolutely. Is, is, there, is, there, a, is, is there a scone or a, or a, I believe you call them Bickies over there with a little chocolate on one side? Is that coming as well? This is a scone, and we've got some seven uh, cream tea going on here. This jam. You know, so it's it, it, perfect. You know, it's funny, Greg. She's she's saying English words, but I don't understand. What I she's talking no, I'm, I'm not no, sure I no what idea. she's even talking about, she's right about right now. Well, you know, Miss Jack Lewis, we're talking to you today because, well, number one, let's be honest, we missed you here, Jackie. Well, but some of us, some of us. Oh, hey, oh, there. I'll speak for myself there, Ms. Jack Lewis. We miss you. But also, too, the Oakland football Raiders have traveled across to jolly old England to take on, to take on the Chicago Bears. Now, what is now? What is the feeling right now in London, England, about the game coming up this Sunday? Yes, Jackie. What is the uh, scuttlebutt? I believe you guys say over there. What is the scuttlebutt over there? I I feel there's probably dozens of people that are really excited about <laughs> dozens <laughs> dozens out there. This is the greatest thing to happen to England. The Oakland Raiders making their presence over there, Jackie. Come on, dozens, please. It's you know it's the the excitement for football here in this country is amazing. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about Liverpool right no. now. No, Jackie, we're not talking about Liverpool. We're not talking about that football. We're talking okay. about real football, American football. Oh, yes. <laughs> What, uh, uh, yes, yes, Oakland Raiders, the Oakland yes. Football Raiders, yes, yes. <laughs> a, big, a big deal over here, possibly. <laughs> Uh, Jackie, we're going to have to be a little more succinct, okay? We don't have that much time. We don't have that much footage here, Jackie. So if you could please be a little more succinct with your analysis here, please, Jackie. I think, you know what? I think the Raiders are probably great, and they're probably going to take it all the way to the World Series this year. Thank you. That's what, what we're looking for, World Jackie. Series. Wait, World <laughs> Series? That's what is, all right. We, what, all right. So, so, Jackie, obviously you're definitely keeping up on American sports. We can really tell that's been a, a big priority going on for you right there. Yeah, but it's, so, a, it's a huge priority over here. <laughs> so, 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 Ms. Jackie, so the big question we have is, with the Raiders traveling over there to take on the Chicago Bears, it's Khalil Mack going back against his former team. I don't know who that is. Uh, well, I uh, Greg, I know that's a little. I know it's a little bit of a soft spot. Probably the same way for the British, mentioning good old 1776. That's Doesn't right. sit too well with them either. Yeah. But Jackie, the question for you, Miss Jack Lewis, is this: Who do you feel is going to take this game on Sunday? And what stadium are we in there, Greek? Uh, <laughs> how dare you? It's the uh, Tottenham. 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 Uh, Totem. Totem. To to Toto. 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 Like, Pool Stadium. Like Toto. Toto. Like the yes, band like Toto. The, like the, yeah. Like I Toto. Love that. The, they were Toto, over. the little dog or whatever. Oh, yeah, there you know, we go. The, love yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. The Totem Ham. So they're in Toto. And the Toto. Toto Ham. Toto Ham. That's it. Uh, ja Miss Jack. Tottenham. Tottenham. There. There. How well, you know. Potato. Tomato. 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 Potato. Potato. So, so the big question is there, Miss Jack Lewis. Who are we feeling you like this weekend to win the game? I gotta go Liverpool. Yep. I'm gonna say Liverpool all the way <laughs> on Sunday. They're gonna be Leicester. Leicester. Jordan Thompson. Uh, <laughs> who is the defense? It's gonna uh, be I strong. Think, okay. <laughs> who, who, who is this Leicester gentleman you mentioned? I'm not sure <laughs> who that person is. is. Is he a kicker for the? Is he a kicker for the Bears? <laughs> was, was, he a, was he a member of the Beatles, <laughs> Jackie? I mean, who is this? Oh, wait, wait, all right, well, Miss oh, Well, all right, Miss Jax, I'm, I'm just going to say this. I mean, thank you so much for your analysis, but this Sunday, the Union Jack is going to be painted silver and black, all right? right? I'll just tell you right now, Jackie. And after the Raiders win, Khalil Mack's going to have a heart attack, all right? And look at the Greek, all of a sudden, become Dr. Seuss right now. He's making everything rhyme because I'm bringing it to you online, all right, for the Hillcrest News and basically, Jackie, for all the patrons of the red, white, and blue. USA! USA, 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 all right, Jack? And, and I think we're losing connection here, Jackie, right? You know what I mean? Jackie. All right, Miss Jackson. Well, I'm sure you have to go probably this evening, cross Abbey Road or 
or, or, or go to Big Ben or see Parliament or things <laughs> like that right there. Um, I'm sure Hugh Grant as Prime Minister is running around trying to do things. Uh, but yeah, how's that uh, Brexit thing going over there? Or, 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 or Jackson, as or you Jackson, Jackson as you yeah, would yeah, call yeah, when Miss Jex Lewis left Happy right there. Leave, that was quite the That's right. Yes, yeah, please. Please give our best to Boris. We hear he's doing a wonderful he's job. Right. And to the Queen. To the Queen. Yeah, exactly. And to, Ch and to Chuck and, uh, and to Chuck, Chuck and, and, and Andy. And Andy. There we go. <laughs> Right there. So, say uh, hi to uh, was it Prince uh, George? There we go. Prince there George, we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Prince George, and yeah. All right. Well, look, Miss Jack Lewis, it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. Maybe we'll check in with you again soon. Yes. Uh, with some other, because I think actually other teams are traveling to London this year. Aren't they, that they correct? Might be. Yeah, but not as important as the Raiders. Well, of course. But, you know, of course. Yeah, of course. So that's right. All right. Well, Miss Jack Lewis, cheerio to you, and have cheerio. a wonderful day. Top cheerio. of the morning. Cheerio. All right. Cheerio. And ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That's another episode of Deets in the Greek. I'm Will, De the Principal Deets. Oh, do you know who you are? I don't know. Again, it's, it's, you know it's been a rough are. week. <laughs> Greek has been a rough week. It's been a rough week. So what do we end up? How do we always we, end, our, go. end our segue? There we go. And so, Ms. Jake Lewis, hey, come on, Ms. Ms. Jake Lewis, wave those hands in the air. Right, here we go. Sore. Sock sore. Did she leave? She left. She left.